let's get this damn thing accurate don't know what I'm looking into here or here or whatever but anyway hey Dom here welcome back I'm gonna start doing this from now on I'm not necessarily gonna post everything that I do on my social every day I'm gonna stick it inside my group or behind the firewall of my little membership site so today welcome to driveway sessions what the hell are they well they are a session where I'm gonna move away from my normal programming and currently I'm on a let's call it muscular endurance program that is muscular endurance strength endurance moving into battery some mixed modal some other stuff and I'm actually finding it's working for me but what I'm gonna do every other day is I'm gonna mix in some stuff so I've got a Hyrox event the first one in its type here in Sydney in August and then Melbourne is the following weekend where I'm gonna take on the High Rocks Challenge. So I'm doing some stuff around that, but in the other days, I'm gonna try and keep it simple. So if you're watching this, congratulations and welcome. Um, I'm Dom, by the way. The driveway sessions are pretty much designed to be simple. Simple that you and I, and no matter who else you are, can do these things at home. You don't need a lot of equipment, you can switch something out, but the whole idea is to show you that no matter whether you're in the gym, you're at a functional studio, whatever, when you're time poor, you can still get your workout done. Now today, we did a 21 minute time cap, and I had to exceed that by a few just to hit something and complete the round. It's not complicated, it was simply three movements, and those movements were a dead bull carry, so I caught like a bear hug carry off my heaviest dead bull. That is 30 kilos or 66 to 70 pounds for those of you seeing this in Imperial. I've gone for a walk down the length of my driveway, which is actually quite long, and back and all up it's about 50 meters. I've then come inside and I've simply pulled up a piece of the floor and I've got myself 20 push-ups. From there, I've then jumped on, in my case, I jumped on my rower. I was thinking ski, but I went onto the rower instead and I simply stroked as hard and as aggressive as I can for 20 strokes. My challenge to myself is can I get 20 calories in 20 strokes? I know having done this before, that's not necessarily the go because the first one or two until I get that flywheel up and going, they don't really contribute to that calorie or two. But normally the third one is I hit my first calorie, so I'm coming short. But nonetheless, it is 20 from the first stroke right the way through to 20. And what's my goal? My goal is between 16 and 18 calories in that time. I can stroke as hard and as fast as I want, or I can simply stroke hard and have a nice, gentle, slow return. It may take me longer, but at the end of the day, I'm still hitting the same amount of calories. At the end of that, I'm giving myself a 30 second rest. Other ways that you can do this workout is you can do the first one, look how long the round takes you, give yourself some time, and let's say it's a three to three and a half to four minute cap that you must complete every round. So that's one way to do it. So today, for example, based upon mine, if I was to do this again, I'd probably say three and a half minutes done. You've got to complete a round and start a round every three and a half minutes. How many can you get that done? Well, that is two rounds every seven. Seven threes are 21. That gets me six rounds in my 21 minutes. In my case, because I condensed that, and I simply said, when I'm finished, I got my 30 second. I think I hit about eight rounds because some of the rounds I went really out hard and fast at the start really aggressive. I was upwards of the 1800 calories per hour on the row and I got my 20 strokes in about 35 to 40 seconds. In the later rounds as I died off a bit I brought it down to around 1500 calories per hour sometimes even as low as 13 and it took me about 45 to 50 seconds to get the 20 strokes. But nonetheless it's a simple short workout. The whole idea is if you're using a whoop or a Fitbit or maybe you've got a heart strap you will see peaks and troughs in your chart and that's what I simply want. So going out hard, build, 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 and then when I'm finished, take a recovery. Reset, get some grip, go again, take a sip of my <laughs> one gallon bottle here, which is part of the gallon challenge I'm doing this week, and I'll probably continue it onwards there afterwards. So that's it, that's the driveway session for today. Again, can you change this out? don't have a dead bull, put a sandbag. Don't have any one of those, you've got a kettlebell, do it. It's easy, go to Bunnings and spend seven bucks and buy a bag of 20 kilo washed sand and you're sorted. Just give that a bear hug, go for a walk, chuck it on a backpack, sling it on, 
ruck it down, ruck it back. Hey, if you're doing a ruck, if you're strong enough, do the push-ups with the ruck. I wouldn't encourage doing the rowing with the ruck because it will suck. Option two, I could change out the ski for the rower. I could have gone onto the bike. Alternately, if you're at home and you don't have any of that, you can go back outside, good old skipping rope, and you can skip, let's say, for 50 seconds to a minute or however many skips that will get you. Let's say that's 200 skips if you're a single skip type of person, or maybe it's 50 to 60 to 70 or so double unders, and then you'll still get that same desired effect of that push right at the end. That's it for today's driveway session. If you like this, please, hey, tag a friend, let them know that we're gonna start posting this inside the group. These will also be on my YouTube channel as well too. Um, let's see what happens from here. Cheers.